Well, now that you mentioned it, I guess we can start with, you know, the, the men's. And, you know, can you imagine just like the flight home at all? You know, just the contrast with Victor being the winner of the singers and Anders having lost, you know, in the, in the first round. A surprise defeat. It's like such a... You know, you're part of the same team and you want each other to do well. You know, but can you imagine like Victor just, just smashing it? And um, yeah. What did you make of the final? And, and what did you think of Axelson's performance the whole way, whole way through? Um, he was, uh, he played amazing. Uh, I actually, to be honest, um, the the semifinals against Ginting. I don't know mm -hmm. what happened uh, at that moment because Ginting was much better. But then he did ten mistakes in the end of the yeah. third set. But it's incredible! It's incredible just to like yeah. Victor got so many points in a row. But I'm still quiet. It, it just tells you that if if you lack a very little, uh, if if your level drops just a little, then your opponent is is catching up uh, right away. Yeah. That is quite. That's quite something that that you never you're ne never out of the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know, when you get an early lead in the games, it really helps kind of keep that momentum. You know, when we talk about the importance of getting an early start, you know, he, from a neutral perspective, watching that final, it seemed like he, you know, he was in, in control of the match. Would you say was that a fair point? Would you think that just Consistently keeping that advantage the way mm. all the way through, and yeah, I, I think he he was he was quite on point. He was battling with with something. I don't think he looked that confident because he was he was facing an opponent he never lost to, and mm -hmm. was a very good chance for for winning an incredible big tournament against and. Yeah. A relatively weak opponent. I think Axelsen have played against him nine times now and, and yeah. haven't uh, lost. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so I think that, yeah, I think it, it, it was a difficult game for him to, to be on his top level because, yeah, yeah well, the opponent wasn't. So what do you know about that, um, that Agnes guy? Car, the Ng Ka Long, because been a couple of finals and it's almost under the radar. You know, he makes his way into this final, and for me, you know, quite a new face. Hmm. He's yeah, been there. <clears throat> yeah, he's been there though on the world tour. Um, I've seen him like not like only recently, like you say, he's been in the, more in the later stages. But he, I've seen him in the world tour competing. Putting up good fights, some like sometimes losing just in two games, but still putting up good fights, good rallies. You know, like he's been there, he's been around, but yeah, he's definitely setting up his game. You know, another upset is Liam Wang. I was not expecting that. Right now, look, I'll show you. I've got in the background, how do I stop it? Barcelona Open, Liam Wang versus uh, As Trip and Asmus. Um, yeah. Uh, wait. And um, I don't know. I just thought that was so unexpected because, like you say, they always put up fights and always put up good rallies, but they never really capitalize on any of the uh, scores that they get like halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. I wonder what they did differently. Like, if they've just done so much strength and conditioning that they're just so confident. Or same for what's his name? The, I don't know the guy from uh, Hong Kong. What's his name? G Agnes something. Yeah, his family what's names. Uh, how do you pronounce N G? Is it like an ung ung sound? Ung ka long. Ung ka long. Go on there, Daniel. Yes, Daniel. Where are you, man? I don't know what happened to my video. I don't know what's going on. It was there. When I turned around, I came back. It was gone. I'm trying to get on my phone now. Daniel, oh, same, yeah, same with the M&M jokes, yeah. It's just the been said. Well, you're the only one that's saying them. I didn't even notice. No, nah, I'm just getting them all out in the open because, you know, I've had it from everybody else, you know, so I've heard them all now. So just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, more out. But it's for me. It's 
it seems surreal, like, you know, Axel Victor coming back from such a mad injury. And then, you know, n quite honestly, even, um, you know, Gillian was saying that it was so unlikely for him to come back and perform at such a high level. You know, after sustaining that injury and being out of it, but, you know, to, to come back and just, just dominate and put on such a great performance, you know, throughout the tournament. It's, it's, um, he's, he's this, this second, um, it, technically it's an injury, but it's, it's like Joe. He, he essentially did what Joe did because it wasn't on his leading ankle. It was on his second ankle. So it's not on his, right. it's not the one he got injured on. The injury was, mm -hmm. so he, if he had the injury on his right ankle, he had the surgery mm -hmm. on his left ankle. He took the choice mm -hmm. to, to do it during that mm -hmm. time. So he's had yeah. surgery on both ankles now. So yeah. it, it's, it's almost, it, it's, it's like, I, I don't want to take away from Marin's injury because it was a mm -hmm. very bad injury, but it wasn't to her leading leg. And yeah. in that fear, I think you have when you come back, when you have an injury on your dominant, your, the leg yeah. that you use to push yeah, off yeah, yeah. is a lot scarier than if I had an injury on my left leg, it's not my, my weight leg. So for say, when I'm, um, playing, but like Gillian said, when she lands on her, her leg and she plays that sort of switch step, she lands on her her left on her on her right leg, which is the one she injured. So it, it is a big thing for her when she's playing. But um, Axelson's injury was uh, it was the choice to have the surgery, right. mm. and I think because he was having the strategic, baby, strategic strategic choice. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's yeah. having the baby. He's he's mm. it's, it's a good you know I mean it's a good reason why he would have been playing the Denmark Open. The wife would have been having the baby and he would have been playing the tournament so your camera's gone again the the yeah I, thought, I, I didn't even know it came back and then i looked up i'm gonna get on my phone d man you should be the technology man yeah you're always it's always daniel man it's, i'm not gonna yeah, but that is, that is pre, bad pre lighting you know? bad mic no camera <laughs> pre recorded i don't i don't Come use anything you in stuff i've got everything designated He's got a GH5, but he can't work a Zoom camera, man. It's true. <laughs> he what, can make, he there... can edit, he can edit top A++, you know, uh, advert quality videos, but he can't, you know, mm. get a Zoom call camera yeah. to work. He's dodgy, dodgy built-in stuff. Mm -hmm. A poor works when blames his tools. I'm, I'm using a, I'm using the amped up 2012 MacBook Pro. Right. Oh, that's, like, that's, like, that's like a quarter of your life, right? It's a quarter of your life. I, I, I believe it's a quarter of your life. Oh. <laughs> no, no wonder is my comment. No wonder. I know no, you'd be surprised. S uh, one terabyte SSD is is it's in good yeah. nick, to be fair. Yeah. Um, right. But there so was go. there any um? You know, as you watched it from early on, was there any like any matches that stood out for you particularly? You know, any um. Because when you're watching every day, there's always a little something that stands out. One pair for me was the, uh, you know, Jikel and uh, Del Rue. Yeah. In the, in, in the final against Jordan and Octavianti. You know, I was like, wow, French pair into the semi-finals of the mix. You know, that's an amazing achievement. Because when you look, check some of the badminton forums, France is, is there, you know, there's a lot of French badminton players. You know, a lot of people play, but not at, um, so much at the highest level, but to see, um, you know, a French pair representing in the semi-finals and they, um, the second game went to 20 all against mm. Jordan. And, um, and I think, because he's had a weird tournament that Jordan, you know, I think, first of all, you can see he's put a little, little bit of weight on around the belly. I think maybe like the, the 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 COVID, the COVID belly, you know, there's a bit of um, and uh, you know, yesterday, twenty one was it twenty one four or five in the first game, they lost. And can you yeah, imagine like yeah, going into a, a finals, all the cameras and all that, and you lose your first game? Like, what was it? Was it five? Because there was one three. point it was like it was three twenty one three. They lost the first game, and it's like even when we play the worst pair at our local clubs, we can't beat them to three. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so That's it was crazy. Really, but then to come back and win the second game, 
as well. It's like what what psychologically is going on in that mind because it it just seems to be such a weird game. Did you watch that one, B? Yeah, um, I missed the first the first game. Um, mm -hmm. Jordan's a very temperamental. <laughs> This is not temperamental. He doesn't show it in emotion, but it's very temperamental in the way that he, he plays. So you'll see yeah. that sometimes he'll be really switched on and then other times he's not. Um, yeah. But it, it's, he's, won it with, he's won tournaments with so many different partners. You, you know he's yeah. a, a good player. You just have to hope that he, he, he turns up and he's in the right mindset on that day. And you won't know whether he's in the right mindset because he doesn't make any noise. I think he shouted like once in the third yeah. set when he did a jumping smash, which was the first time I've seen yeah. him jumping forever. Yeah. Not because he can't, but he just never normally needs to. Um, I think uh, the Taipei <clears throat> lady from playing single, she used to wear the brace after she came back from her injury and she's yeah. taken those off since after COVID. And she seems to be a lot mm -hmm. more less worried about the injury that she had to Thing. So, um, hmm. yeah, I think they just. So that, that Tara Tanachai, would you say that she's, well, for me, she's one of the standout players of the tournament. Do you know what I mean? You know, she was, she was playing yeah. women's as well, you know, with a new partner. You know, that taller yeah. pair who played with the other Thai lady who was in the final as well. You know, she, they used to be paired up. So then Tara Tanachai paired up with her. But yeah, she was definitely, for me in this tournament, because it was, it was in the semi-finals when they were dead and they were dead and buried. They were losing so badly in the third set, and they came back to take it. Yeah, yeah, I think that was semi-finals day. Yeah, let me just. But that was an against the and to be the winner, you know, being Thai in a Thai event, it's like when an English pair wins it in the All England, or you know, in the Danish when when the, when when a Danish person wins their discipline, it just means so much more. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing victory. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I think her, her, she used to play singles, and that is a big, I think, a big help for her in that her mm -hmm. defense is so strong. I think she's got in the mixed game, I think, especially in that tournament, she definitely had the strongest defense out of any of the women playing in the, in the tournament. Amazing, de amazing defense. And that is, yeah. yeah. A massive, like no one was. It was there was no point in trying to find her because she was getting everything back. You might as well just play conventional. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. But yeah, they came back in the semis against the Koreans. I think there was. They That's were the ones, the Koreans. Yeah. They were seventeen something. That they were losing. I think it was eleven or nine seventeen, and they managed to come back to to take it. Um, yeah. Yeah, because Who's he. Boxer? So it was it Cho or Say who was um, playing also in the men's. So he had to. Can you imagine having to wake up one morning and having to play a men's semi finals and a woman and a mixed semi finals in the same day? Like, can, can you imagine like the demand? Yeah, no. It's. Uh, that would be tough. Yeah, and because the. Um, yeah, the, it went to three games, but they, they just got like. Like in that last set, they just got um, 21-4 in the last set, the last game. <laughs> wow. Wait, which game are you watching? I think you were no, 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 no. the wrong one. No, no, sorry. Yeah, 22-20 in the last set. Yeah. It was the game before, sorry, when they yeah when they played the, the, the Hong Kong pair. But yeah, the last game, 22-20. And you know when you really... um. You know, when you shake your hands at the end of the game, when you celebrate and you're on the floor, that's really one of those games when you're in the third set and you win 22-20. That's genuinely one of those reasons where you can jump on the floor. <laughs> well, I, I haven't seen a game that's gone gone to three and and the person who's won it has won it by two points in total, literally. Because yeah. the other two games are identical scores, 21-17, 21-17, either way, and then 22-20 in the in the third it's literally yeah. two point difference um mm -hmm. the whole the whole match you think that's a mental thing when that happens when it's like like 21 15 and then 21 15 and it's like you just i don't know, know i don't think the players would have noticed i don't think they would have noticed it it, 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 it it's, it's something that you would say okay right well does it really does it happen often but when you you look at it, it just happens to be coincidence because 
Axton's mm. final happened the same thing. It was th the same amount of points was won, ten or ten or so points in the second and third set. Gintin did it to uh, Victor, and then Victor um, um, did it vice versa. So it was exactly yeah. the same play happened, but I don't yeah. think at the time you don't like when I if you lose a game you don't really think about that score. Um, it, it's yeah. Mm. So. So, Maz, you were messaging in the group, you know, you were watching from early on. So, were you getting up in the early hours to watch it? Uh, I wasn't, all, not all the time. I was watching from uh, 7 a.m. here in Denmark. So, yeah. Uh, or 6 a.m., some of the days when, when the, mm -hmm. uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday I was, because it was, mm -hmm. uh, that we had a lot of singles playing in the early rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I know many of the people who's playing, so it's always mm -hmm. interesting to follow it, especially Rasmus Kim and Anas, because I yeah practice with them so for long. Mm -hmm. Also Alexandra Boy, actually. I was also practicing with her. And Lina mm -hmm. Kiersfeld. Uh, Alexandra Boy. Yeah, because that was my um you, you know, one of the other pairs to look out for, like her mm. her and her, her partner. They did quite good it, as well. Well, Paulson, Paulson was a partner. Yeah, Mede. Mete, yeah. Mede Mete Paulson. Paulson. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know them? Um, have you seen them it? around? I know Mede. I know who they are. Alexander Boy was, I, we, we know each other quite well. But Mede, I don't know Mede that well. She's uh, from another place in Denmark. Yeah. But they, uh, yeah. Probably one of the, the, um, the better looking of the the women's doubles, <laughs> you know, certainly uh, caught my eye. Who do you think is the most <laughs> fine girl on the world tour? I'm pretty sure we had this conversation, but still, any discipline, women's mixed singles. Well, if it's from this tournament, it's probably that. Not Alexander. from this tournament, from anybody on the world tour regularly. You know, the Australian chick, so Grazina, or so so her name starts with a G, initials G S. Asian, but she's Australian. She plays for Australia. She's sexy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nah, I gotta put up a photo. You don't believe me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I just nah. She just randomly popped up on my Facebook, like on like people to follow, and I was like, oh, yeah. oh shit. Wait, yeah, I mean, you. definitely the Japanese singles lady. She's a cutie, and there's one in the in the Japanese pair that plays with Hidota. And the Fukushima, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a cutie. And mm. shout out to the Stoweva sisters, as always. Yeah. This one, you guys, do you not know this This one? What's her name? Oh, yeah, 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 Gronya. Gronya. Yeah, this, I told you, GS, that's her initials. She's sexy as hell. Oh, yeah. Som yeah. Somerville. Plays yeah. for Australia, but she's Asian, so I'm from somewhere. Yeah, I think she went out in the first round. Yeah, she's not great. Great. but that's not why we like. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. not <laughs> You're not laughing like I meant it disrespectfully. No, she's. Yeah, but um, most people that are there, they're they're there for the full three weeks, right? There's like for the. If yeah. you're there for this tournament, uh, are you there for the other tournaments as well? Two weeks, depends. If you're not in the top eight, you're not there next week, so there's no need for you to stay. Unless they're not paying for okay. your flight to come back separately. Yeah. If you're not in the top eight, then they, then the but it depends on the the committee. Like say for instance Denmark, it depends on how many players are in the top eight. But I doubt they're going to send some people back. Back. They might as well all go back. They, together. they will. They, they will, will yeah. send some back. Yeah, they will. Oh wow. We yes. don't have any. We don't have any women singles qualified unless they beat the uh, Carolina Marin in the. <laughs> Oh, the, our two singles is, is going to meet each other in the first round and then the winner will probably meet Caroline Marin and okay. they have to win against her also to be qualified for uh, wow. next week so that's mm -hmm. probably not going to happen Wait, who do they have to win against in the second round? Marin Oh, oh, oh Okay Yeah Yeah but I I'm, might think they're able to do it. Mm 
Um, I think if if Mia wins in two sets in straight games against Dina, I think uh, I think Mia will have enough energy to beat Marin, who played yesterday and only had one day of resting, which it was today mm -hmm. after playing so many matches. Yeah. Uh, so, and she's also playing tomorrow. And if Marin is going to three sets. And mm -hmm. Mia beat Lean in two sets. I'll definitely, I might put my money on, on Mia because uh, there is something about recovery that don't make sense if Mia not, is not able to beat Marine, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Denmark seemed to keep drawing in the first round. They always, in their singles, it, it's either their men's or their singles have each other in the first round. It's yeah. like the second tournament. Like last time it was Rick and Who's playing. It's the second tournament yeah. where they're, they're both, they're, they're both their singles players are playing each other. It's like, oh. Yeah, it's annoying. Like, Something about this turnering schedule. Sometimes we had uh, we had the pair. Uh, it was Carsten Monsen and Matthias Bull, which yeah. played against the same pair for five tournaments in a row. Uh -huh. where I met, met them in the first round, and they first were round. yeah, they won uh, one of the times and lost four times, oh. and they were also always winning the tournament. So mm. that pair, I don't remember who it was. But they were very annoyed that they met the same pair over and over mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Especially when you're going in different countries, you want if you're bringing in several pairs, you want to increase your net, increase your chances of getting your your nation to the latter rounds. Yeah. But yes, what what did exactly. you what did you think of the um, the men's final? You know, we had a. You know, me and you, Joe, when we talk about men's smashes, you always bring out Govi Shem, mm. you know, and his technique. And we have many videos that we watched of him, you know, with the bounce, bounce, hold, and he's got this beautiful smash. Yeah, he's, you know, he was his... he was playing with, um, you know, his <clears throat> partner, Tan Wick Young. Tan Wick Kong. And um, did you watch that final? I watched them. I watched the highlights. I, You know what it is with Govi Shem and Tan Wick Young? They're just... They have the potential to play the best badminton on earth with the best technique in the most efficient form, I believe. But they're just so mentally, they have a switch where they're either mentally unbelievably formidable, but if it's yeah. off and it's something that's caught them off that switch, then they're just, yeah. they're, they're, they're B-Tech players, they're a show of like what they can be. And I think it's the same, I know it's the same for all players, but I think like, difference in play from when they're on and they're off compared them to other players it's just like they're yeah. so great when they're on and they're so yeah. bad when they're off whereas yeah. other players they're good when they're on but they're still their same level ish when they're off they're not the best but like do you know what i mean i don't know how to describe that i just well, did, you, did you say that they were off in the final then because i just i don't know really i think the tournament yeah no, no they, yeah, they had a good tournament yeah they played well i just when something happens and when one of them goes there's no there's no ability in the partnership to bring him to bring the other person to bring it back. They kind of go against each other. I feel like when when the mental something catches them off, whenever whatever it is, it's a good point. A long rally that they can't win or whatever it is, the psychological switch. I just feel like there's no they don't they're not good at getting it back. They just lose it and it's gone. And that's their that's the thing is their technique is amazing, but they're mentally not as strong as the other players, I believe. And they were saying that Gobi Shem, his defense is always lift. He, do, he, he doesn't push and he doesn't drive, whereas, you know, his partner, Tan, would like do some drives or. But Gobi Shem is always set. He does got a really nice lift, but it's always. And so they were saying it was quite predictable that you smash at him, he's going to do another lift. Mm -hmm. And you but see, the, they lost it? the first game, just quickly. They, they lost the first game. And in the second game, they were 20 18 down. And then, you know, one of the, you know, the Chinese Taipei, they smashed and it hit the net and it was literally going to go in, but it hit the net cord and then it bounced out. So it was actually, the angle was going in, it hits the net, then it bounces out when they were losing 2018 and, and they ended up winning that second game. Mm. Did, you, did you see that point, Mads? The men's final doubles. Yeah. 
Well, I, I actually didn't say see, see that uh, match, um, but yeah, I was I was out at that moment. But you know what? The, but even semi-finals day and finals day, that there's so many hours of badminton to watch in the day. It's it's impossible to watch it all, <laughs> you know, unless the uh, unless you haven't got a job to, to watch everything yeah. was just so much, you know. <laughs> I, I tend to to all of the Danish players. I watch uh, those matches, and as the tournament goes on, I, I'm not. Uh, when there's no Danish pair, I'm not. I might not even watch it uh, oh, unless okay. I, I see my favorite players who is who's yeah. playing. Yeah. Or if if I have some players in my club where I'm coaching that that mm-hmm. is a bit similar to their game style, so right. it's quite interesting to see. This guy, if he reaches his full potential, he will probably end up like in some some kind of ginting or some like this, because there are so many different styles of playing. So yeah. when when I see someone is who's interesting, I I tend to to watch the game. Yeah. Yeah. What What about you, D? What What, what do you look out for? What, what games have been? Because for me, it never used to be singles, but this year I've been a lot more on the singles. You know, having Joe, me and you played me and Daniel play a lot more singles now. Is that okay? Well, what, being a men's doubles player, it's interesting to spend some time analysing what is the gameplay and what is the um, tactics when you're playing singles versus doubles. Yeah, no. Generally, I look out for games that are going to be closer. Like, I think will be a closer yeah. match or a possible possible upset Um which yeah, if 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 you if I feel I have a feeling that the match is gonna be too one sided, um then yeah, and then normally I just catch up on them. But um generally uh, this to be fair, women's singles has been very entertaining lately. Like the last yeah. couple of years, it's a lot more like mm-hmm. it's very, very like the technique and the shots that everyone are playing is is one of the more entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is is nice to to watch all of the singles players who are uh, actually playing, mm. um, and the men's doubles is like it's, it's very a lot of I find that a lot of the people who are in the draw at the moment it's bad to say because there's only two nations that are not there are all temperamental, mm. and it's it's what Joe was saying with Tang and Go that. They can have good days or they can have bad days. Apart from um, Hendri- Hendria uh, Seti one and his partner, apart from those two, that was every- a disappointing game. That was what I was looking forward to because they're always super calm and super relaxed in their playing style. It's just like so. Yeah, but I think, I think a lot of like- people underestimate those two Korean guys. Those both of them play mix on the circuit. It's true. Um, they've been playing well. They they're not getting. They they always fall in the latter stages. But you you have to be you have to look at their their averages like that that was a shocking tournament for korea they, they they would look back at it and say how could they have five people in the semi-final and every person go out wow. like, that is, they've never had they've never had they've never had every korean person go out in the semi-finals because their ladies doubles are so strong and hmm. they normally have um after ladies doubles or the kids being performing for for singles doubles but they normally it's normally the doubles matches are normally between um Korea and, and Japan like but they, they, the ladies are, are very temperamental at the moment I'd say as well the the, the Korean ladies are um, apart from the kid who's there's no expectation on her to do she, she, she's what, 18 she can just play like yeah. she, she wins, so she you wins. think that's why she's so good because there is no expectation it's just her against herself because there's no, no like I think, I think she's made correct decisions in the last two years, like not entering the junior championship to play the team, to play like the team, the team championships and stuff like that. Like, I, I remember I played a tournament where I was playing with a scratch partner and it was, um, he played on the England national team. It's like, wait, why can't you find a partner? And all the other people had paired up. But it, one of the things he said to me, he was like 15 and he was like, the jump from senior to junior to senior is so big because the players he he's a lot better than a lot of the people he's playing but their experience in badminton is is priceless 
it's it, it, the jump yeah. is, is very hard the ability is there it's like when you look back and you're like okay when I was that age if I knew what I knew now yeah. I would have been such a good player and it's just whether the younger players get that experience or play in the higher level while they're younger to sort of um use that have that potential like Unkan Young he's he's I've seen him he's been around for a long time I thought he was really old he's only 26 like he looks wow. like an old man he looks, every, he looks every bit of 35 that guy right this is what I mean and I, I only realized he was 26 this tournament all this time I thought this wow, guy was like man. 30 or late 20s I was like wait he's had a hard life like he's 26 so he's like technically a young player in his prime but it's whether you can get that experience. It's, it's funny, um, the Korean girl, um, um, Ong Sang Young, she, it's like deja vu. She beat Rational, who was a famous for winning in like that young age. Like she won, I can't remember what tournament Rational yeah. won when she was young. And then she got beat by someone who's like the same age. And so, yeah. Um, I hope she find another level again, Rachak. Yeah, I think so. If if Japan and China was also in the tournament, mm -hmm. they they might have won them all, won all categories. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or or Indonesia probably with Sugamulchu and Gideon has probably won the men's mm -hmm. double. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it it is interesting. We we do have world class badminton, but but we don't have. <laughs> The best still, of the best, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and we yeah. have the biggest tournaments at all, but we don't have the best players. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because even in the men's doubles, yeah. the two finalists were, they're usually who you see in the quarterfinals and sometimes in the semifinals. Like Govi Shem is usually in and around that yeah. area and the guys from the Chinese Taipei, they're usually in and around the quarterfinal stages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the difference is that a lot of the, a lot of the players, a lot of, especially in the men's doubles, that the quality from the players who are not there, they bring up everyone else's game. Everyone else plays mm -hmm. better when they play against them. And, and yeah. the difference that you've seen in that last tournament is the number of, they're forced, but technically unforced errors when it's your full-time job mm -hmm. that mm. players are making, which are, not say for instance not, not something smashing it out and, and those oh, sort of if you, it, it's something oh wait can you hear me yeah, yeah you, you come back in now you come back in now yeah um yeah no i was saying the unforced errors by a lot of the like men's doubles <laughs> players that mm -hmm. um normally you wouldn't yeah you wouldn't normally see it a higher level like game that's not the, the drift's not a factor basically if it wasn't for the drift like actually hitting it out hitting it into the net yeah, yeah. hey joe stop smashing that thing on the table man are what? you spinning something are you spinning something around in your hand it's i'm not dog. doing anything i think you might be me it's not the dog <laughs> the sleeping the dog's sleeping is it you, man? Yeah, I can hear something like uh, no, I guess I had this. You. I'm sitting here chilling, man. I just had this thinking? camera thing and then I could, like. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you dickhead, you're trying to blame me. <laughs> you know, I thought it was your I thought you had, like, um, you were flipping, Deacon. like, um. You know, because it wasn't Daniel. He, he, was, he was talking and it was either you or Mads. I said, it's not Mads. <laughs> uh, uh, that's yeah. funny. Uh, I th guess it was me. But. But what about the picks for, for the upcoming tournament? Yes. Yeah, so oh, what about the... So let me share my screen. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, I want to go through the some of the results first, very quickly. Share screen. So let me uh, brief it up a bit. Joe, oh, you don't exist. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, we know you. You said you're... You didn't fill it in. Well, I filled it in before we had that um, conversation and I didn't go back to it. But anyway, so if we were to tally up the points. So Daniel with the victor. 
For me with the victor. And JB, what was yours for the men's single? You pull it up, pull it up. You don't remember. Mm-hmm. I Mads know, I put it in the group. I can't change Mads it. Mine's with a Carolina, Carolina Marin. You know, very wise choice there. Mine's, <laughs> all, Mads almost with the Jordan. So close, so close to that. What do you mean? He had both of them win the final. It doesn't matter. One of them's got to win. Me, yeah, I, I know. I know I yeah. It's both of them were in the final. That's the best choice. <laughs> both of your players were in the final. That's the best choice you could have made. <laughs> no, it was a sick choice. It was a sick choice. But Daniel got Jordan. Jordan. Sierra and Troy almost. No, the, the second mixed pair is a, is a tie pair. You know that, G. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the, yeah. So sorry, he, sorry, he had sorry, the yeah. two people so in the final. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought her name was Tara something. Yeah, right. that's, a, that's the other name. Tara Tana yeah, Chai. Names, you know, you can't put their names, the whole of their names. Yeah, yeah the name yeah, is like yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. sentences long, man. Thai names are pretty long, pretty long. So I, I blundered picking the um, the Japanese. That was a mistake. They didn't even They, get they don't remove them until one day before the tournament. And yeah. gee, what was, yeah. why you picked Leong Day? What was that like? Was he, he was there? No, he, 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 he was there. He, he was there. He lost in the first round. Yeah, he's, really. He's there this week. Yeah. Who is he playing with? Now? The chubby Korean guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a bit of nostalgia. Look, this was English pride. You know, so Ellison language. They did all right. You know. Yeah, they didn't do bad. Oh Ellison yeah, so what Smith. I put... Go on. Ellison yeah. Smith did did all right as well. But yeah, so I just I just got Victor. So one one point for me. Well, how many for you, Joe? Who did you have? Okay, I, I put I put Victor and Ginting for my men's yeah, single. Okay, so that's that's a, yeah. I put um So and Co and Troy for yeah. Wait, what? the men's. I yes, Co and Troy and um who else? And Asan and Seti one. So I got fucked with Asan okay. and Seti one. Yeah. Yeah. And then for women singles, I put Tai Su Ying and An Si Young. Yeah. And I don't. I didn't even put anything for women singles. And for men, uh, for mixed, I did um, same as Mads. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tai okay. and. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, the number one and two seats. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! I changed it. I changed oh, it after. Oh. I changed it to Ellis. I changed. I took out the ties and I I kept Jordan. Huh? And I, and I, was I, put, it? I, I got yeah, I got I look I look scroll in the group. I said add me Jordan for mixed and and go give me Emma, Ellis and Lauren instead of the Ah, uh, see I'm I a dickhead for that. I convinced I'm you. A dickhead. Yeah, you had me G. You I, had me. I, I, well nah, 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 nah. I, I can tell you one thing. The English um Lauren's defense at the moment is poor, so they won't win anything. If she can't defend, mm. Then mm. you are, and they was playing really well back in 2019 and a bit in 2020. But lately, in the last couple of tournaments, she can't defend. And if you can't defend in mix, it's, it's game over because all the yeah. other women can defend. Yeah. Okay. Why well, I, I, I don't on my radar anymore because no matter how well he plays, if she can't defend, mm-hmm. then yeah, you you've got mm. problems. You've got problems. So in the next tournament, is it is it all the teams and is Japan coming back for this one and China? No, you know, are they still no, no. It's not being ten no. days. It's not being ten days. So they're not definitely even, okay. Uh, sugar yeah, oh, really. No, they're out as well. Like it's not been. It's it, it's not the, the the time from when he found out that Kento Momota had it wasn't it was before he was flying. Yeah. So it was very last minute. So in terms okay. of the time and the draw keeps changing. They changed the draw this morning um, mm-hmm. again. Like players who oh, were so, so what site can I find that on? Is that it's on the BWF site? Yeah. I don't find the, the go draw. to click on it and then go to draw. Um, you just need to go to the. You see at the top there. No, no, no. Don't yeah. come off the page. It says Yonex Thailand Open. It's a drop down. Click on that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. On the top, top right. No, no, no. Go yeah. The Toyota. Toyota, the Toyota one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this draw now is the most, the most. The most can you see that? How, 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 how? Can you see this because it's really small on my yeah. screen? Oh, Batingas, your your friend there, Hans Christensen. 
Uh, to be fair, he's got he's he's got a good he could get quite far this tournament if he yeah, wins he, that first you, game. He, he's 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 games. in a good part of the draw. Yeah, he's he's in a good part of the draw. Okay, I would hope I for think... him to get at least to the semis. I really like him. I, I really. Ah, uh, he's uh, not going to be Ginting. I don't think so. Wait, is it Ginting underneath? Well, well, Ginting's here. So Ginting. Yeah. Oh. So they'll, 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 either way, they'll meet in the quarters. Is, is, he, yeah. an, is he an independent player? Because, or is he still on the national team in Denmark? He's on the national team. I don't know why. I maybe it was someone else. I thought he retired. I don't know why I heard that. Oh, uh, Yenu just retired. Easy job. Okay. Rasmus Gimke. He's doing well. He he was really good in the last tournament as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. He's he's uh, he's playing well. Yeah. I think my picks in men's singles. Yeah. Yes, go on. Let me. That will be. Me um, I I would say, <coughs> Anas Antonsen. Really. Or. Yeah. Lee Si Jia. Okay, so let me um, update this then. Oh, I'm glad you're going on. The, I'm, I'm glad that someone else finds that he's he has potential to. To cause some but, upsets. No, I love Lee Zhang. The next Lee Chong Wei. They they haven't lost that. They haven't used any energy in this tournament, and all the other players have. Yeah, so, it's true. Uh, I I think I've never. They will never in their life again have a, a situation where you lose a tournament in one week and then you get to play another tournament without actually leaving, mm, going anywhere mm, within yeah. within less than seven days. It's unheard yeah. of. Like you. So. <laughs> That will be my pick. I think they uh, maybe Jonathan Christie could also be a good choice because he also didn't play that many games and he's very talented as well. Well, I'm going for Victor. Yeah, you got he's he's got a couple yeah, of man. I, I'm like he's he's like <laughs> one of my rock, like idols for this generation of badminton. Preach. Uh, Daniel, for your singles, who else are you going to go for? I got Victor and Lee and the Malaysian kid. Um, Lee Zijia. Yeah. Lee Zijia. I want to be different. And if you guys are going Lee Zijia, I want to go Chow. Chow. Yeah. Who did you pick? Chow. Yeah. I want to go with Chow. Okay. Where is he? Yeah, Chow's down here. He's going to be playing um, Thai. He's the second half of the draw. And he don't he's really have any he have Kalong actually. They're meeting in the quarters. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah, he's got the finalist there in the quarters. Okay. Jim. Joe, who did you pick? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I haven't picked yet. Only Victor right now. Maybe Lizzy Jam, maybe Ginting. I'm undecided. I'm checking to see who they're going against to see how mm -hmm. I think. And D, you there. said you want Victor. Thank you. And <laughs> you want um Lizzy Jar's on it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, guys, with this, my mates in the, a friend of a friend's in the process of getting this sort of kicked off like quite big, um, oh. but he's not doing it at the moment. So this whole like sort of setup with prediction games and stuff. Oh, yeah. um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do it just randomly off my off my website. So once we have it, I think there's ten or twelve of us in total. Um, oh, you mean so we each put up our schools and you get like rankings and stuff? Yeah, so I'll I'll just post the well, table. And... That could be, you know, like how there's a global fantasy football league when you do like a badminton. Yeah, one no, that's what I mean. He works. He works. It's for, like a fantasy works. for badminton. Every tournament leading up to the road to Guangzhou, like you you put in your. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's what I mean. The the friend oh, of a is. friend, he works. Okay. He works for badminton Europe. He's one of the guys who. Oh, really? um, yeah, and they're they're basically I think they're in the final stages of like getting it. They did like pilots back in the they did pilots already. He's the guy who was organizing that talking thing on the All England. Um, do you know they did one like them interviews and stuff like that? But he works with Badminton okay. Europe and so on. But they're at the I think my mate he's actually messaged me back because I asked him what's happening. Um, but they're like at the latter stages of like getting that finalized and like up and running. Um, yeah. but yeah well, at the moment there would be I think it's 10 or 12 of us um, and it should be interesting because everyone's mm -hmm. got quite different 
different selections. Come on, Joe. You got Victor and you got who? No, you know what? So I'm going. Give me Lizzie, Joe. What? Say, yo. You might just pick the same as anyone else. Nah, but it's not even my mentality. I was going to go Ginting, but I think Lizzy Jack, because like you say, he's not spending a lot of energy. I think he's going to be the one to go for. What are you, what are you Mads, for the women? The women? Yeah. That's an interesting yeah. category. I would love to go with Karen Marion, but I'm going for the young Korean girl again because I have faith in her. But you, you can be two. I, I picked two as well. So yeah, that, I know, but they're in the both I, same I, half I, of the draw. So I, if I bet on her, I'm going to bet she's going to Okay, be all right. Okay, okay. That's, that's smart. That's smart. It's going to be one of those. But I would go with um, Mike and, uh, and Sarah, the Danish pair. I mean, for the women's singles. Oh, the women's singles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the women's singles, I will go. With... Michelle Lee did all right. She got to the to the um, <coughs> the quarters. She's kind of sexy too. I would. Uh, and she's young. One of them. I always said she's sexy and she's young. No, no, no. Uh, I said. Yeah. I, 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 I said. And she's young. I thought she's sexy <laughs> and she's young. No, 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 no. Oh, no. oh you said, mean Anne Stay said, Young? Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I said, <laughs> I said she's Coffee. sexy, not Anne Young, the other one. And so Yeah, but then I thought I'm my rational. She, yeah. oh, oh, I'm Ratchet Ratchet sexy too. Uh, so Ratchet Knock, yeah? You're going for Ratchet Yeah. Oh, wow. So, who's that? All right, D. You said you want to go for Anne Young? And yeah, then, and Tai Chi Ying. Yeah. You see how she like came up with her makeup on and she like... Yeah, I know. She had lipstick on, which was a bit... I was like, wait, what's going on? Why you got lipstick on when you're playing? What's going on? You're yeah. not looking at <laughs> all while you're playing. <laughs> My mouth gets dry if I'm playing for that long a period of a time. Yeah. Yo, yeah, for me, really... um, Tai Chi Ying and Marin. Oh, these are... These are... Everyone's got a slight variation. Everyone's got a slight different variation yeah, to the, this is, this is the, the, the reason why when these guys get, when I find out, the, 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 their, their way of doing it is very clever because it's, it gives you, um, you have a budget. And that budget yeah. means you're restricted to, and you can't buy every top player. Mm -hmm. so it's more realistic. Whereas we all just pick the top players, but yeah. I, I like an upset. Um, uh, um, yeah. Okay. What are, we, what are your next? We're well, on the men's doubles now. Men's doubles. Men's doubles. Okay. Wow. LS and language, you got set to your one as well. Round one. Dang. Good. Because so language gonna say is making LS and language, my boy. I can't do that no more. <laughs> Don't waste your time, G. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your vote. I mean. <laughs> Don't waste your vote. <laughs> Don't waste my vote. Uh, the Russians got knocked out early as well, wasn't it? Vladimir yeah. Ivanov. And They've Ivanov. been traumatized since they got beaten by the English in the Danish Open. Oh my yeah. <laughs> um hmm, hmm, hmm. So in... Yeah. What about Ben Lane? Go for, I don't want to go for Govi Shem again. Ben uh, G, go for Ben Lane and Sean Vendy, the other English pair. No, nah, you know what? I'm gonna <laughs> <clears throat> they got more go hope than Ellis and Language, right? Chia and So, I'm going to go for my first one. Who? The Malays. The eight seeds. These guys here. Oh, okay. Aaron Chia and So Woo So Woo Yik. Okay, okay. The other guy, the bandana. <clears throat> um, I can tell you mine's. Mine's is... Um, I might go Korean for Martin... Stop. Carnando oh. and Martin. Yeah. Who? Yeah. What country is that? Martin. Where are you getting these people from? <laughs> Martin and Carnando. Carnando, they'd be they'd be Ardianto from uh, Oh, do you know who else them. picked do you know who else picked them? Who? Spencer. Is it? Really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer. Because yeah, go go be shame, they handled them quite easily actually. But um I think, like you said, they caused a massive upset before in that, in that country tournament. Um, yeah, 
All right, so go on then. Next. Um, I'll take um, Hendra Satyawan and Mohamed Hassan, and I'll take Lee and Wang. Hassan, Lee. Yeah. How you do? Uh, I got Henry and Satya <coughs> one. Um, yeah. And I've also got the um, Koreans. Um, what's his name? Choi, what's his name? Yeah, so she J and Soi Lee Gu. So hold on. What's it what's it, what's that? So it's not the league. I think they're number seven or eight seeds. Choi and CO, yeah. Choi yeah. and CO, that one. Yeah, what about you, Mads? The Danish pair. Yeah. And then uh, Arianto. And well, this one. Matthias, Christiansen, and no. Uh, no, uh, the next one. Skalp and... Uh, Who? Uh, Rasmussen and Astrop. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Go on, D. Astrop. Astrop. And then who do you say, Rasmussen, Astrop, and, and then the, the uh, Adianto. Oh, yeah. Alfian and Adianto. Yep. All right, last one on the list. Then we can call it a night. The mixed doubles. Wait, we ain't done ladies doubles. Can we do ladies doubles? No. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, ladies double. Let's do a mix then. Okay. Um, Rav, Jikel and Del Rue for Guy. Wow, G's coming out with these new people. That, hey, sure. Um, fuck. Jaquiel and Del Rue. She's, they, got, they, they lost in the fight in the semi-finals to... I'll just take a picture when you've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to write it down, but I could just take a picture when you spin it. Yeah. Um, on, and what's the tie pair? These guys, yeah. Um, There's a lot of tie pairs. No, obvi obviously the, the the main ones. They got. I think their names begin with P and K. Yeah, Tara. What's her name? Tara Tanachai. And oh, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good choice actually. Yeah. Tara Tanachai. Is that her? No. No, look at these long names, boy. Just two oh, names, yeah, at yeah, least yeah. 30 I, characters. I, some people picked them out. I could, I could only put one person's name and only the last there name. There it goes. So look, who they got? They got um, Robin Tabaling. Oh, they got Go and Lie. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's going to be that's gonna be a tough one. Yeah. But Tera Tanachai. Let me try no. Dechapul, Pura, Varuna, Rov, and Saproti, Dacha. Oh, I don't know. You know yeah, what? That's the, same. That's, the that's the same one. That's the same one. It's the same yeah, one. no, respect to Jillian Clark for trying to. <laughs> Taratanachai. And she says it so clear, though. Oh, yes, Taratanachai. Uh, who else? Yeah. And, um, wait, 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 wait. And. <laughs> Go on, on Matt Jordan. Oh, you want Jordan as well, yeah? Yeah, give me Jordan. Um, yeah. You go on, Mads. For the mixed. It's the mixed? Yeah. Okay. I was looking at the... Uh, the women. I will, uh, <clears throat> for the mixed doubles, I will have... Um, yeah, Jordan and... The Indonesian and Octavianti, uh, actually, yeah. 
and then the same uh, the digital pool and subsidy. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're they're quite right. So everyone's got that one. So that's um yeah, their fighting spirit was amazing as well. And like you said, her defense. So D. Uh, <laughs> Jordan and I got the Koreans. Um so and Cheng. Yeah. All right, and for the women's last one. Go on, Mads, you go first. You were really looking at it. Uh, Maiden and uh, the Danish pair, Maiden and Sarah. My, uh, oh, you mean, is that um, on this? Is that Alexandra Bow and Paulson? Nope. I mean, Maiden uh, and Sarah, which is... Scroll yeah. down, scroll down. Um, yeah, there so it is. They are in the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they will okay, so. take it. Um, and then probably we will have the, uh, it's Lee so he the Korean. Lee so, so the he. Japanese are not coming, yeah? So they're, they're no, not. No, they're not. Walk the Lee are okay. Wait, are they actually not? Are you sure? It's oh, not been 10 days, over. Joe. It's, he got tested. He got trying to fly out to Thailand. Oh, JB, your 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 chick here, Gronya Somerville. They got a walk. I know. I'm just looking at that. I'm just looking at that walk. because she's already one step there. Yeah, she got a walk. Your 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 baby got a walk. All right. Um, hey man, she's, oh, she fits. Okay nah, she's not. Already. I follow. I follow her on. Um, I follow her and Michelle Lee on Instagram. Uh Facebook for me, bro. Mm -hmm. Go on, give me Kim and Kong for yeah. women's doubles. Um, yeah. Just for the sake of it, give me Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. <laughs> no, no, to be fair, I've got a friend, I've got a friend in Germany who picked the same two. I don't know what the hell he was thinking, but hey. Just for bands, isn't it? I don't like he picked doubles. Them. It's already uh, enough. He no, you know what? For bands, I'm gonna go for Bo and Paulson. Let's see if they get further bands, than let's see if they get further than than um Maz's one. Oh. Wait, do you even know what <laughs> they, they like? will not. I was about to say, you need to click on the picture to see what they actually look like, which Danes those are, because... No, but if you saw their pictures, well, you'd pick them, man. They got two hot. No, no, there. because then I'd recognise which ones they are. And then if they're the ones I'm thinking of, then I'll be like, what? no, they're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> no, just go back to the table, table, click on their profile. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not a flattering picture there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the best player. I mean, that's not the best term um, picture. There's a stronger day pair. No, that's the one that's mad. That's the one that Mads mad, mad picked, the stronger one. But um, hey, they still got a tough I, time. They still they take, got. A... Yeah, uh, Lee and Shin also for my second. Uh, Who? The Korean pair, the... Lee and Shin. Oh, Lee and Shin. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is where we start to get diversified a bit. So uh -oh. my my second one, women's. If I went for the English, everyone was going to laugh at me if I go for Lauren Smith. So oh, you might as well listen. Uh, ten, uh, there would be in the sweepstakes of ten people. There would be. Three people who's chosen them, so. Mm -hmm. No, I want to go for that Thai pair, but the one with the um, the tall chick. Oh yeah, I can see them from here, right? No, it's not this pair. Um. Hmm. But anyway. Oh, that's not the one. Yeah, you, know, you have to find it. But there's a time I'm gonna put it in a placeholder. Wait, find it. What? No, you find find the name. I need to know the name. Find, find the name. Uh, okay, find, so find the morning, they're right. gonna be. It's gonna be the tournament starts at like two a.m. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I found it. How tall is she? Where's her height? Yeah, say. it should say there in stats somewhere. I can't read it. Hi, 183 Hi. centimeters. Okay. So yeah, there we go. I got it. 
All right, Daniel, you too. Uh, Kim and Cole. Yeah. And Gracia Polly and Atro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Indonesian. They're the Indonesians, yeah. 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 Polly and. They're the ones that won it this time, right? Yeah. Rah <coughs> Rah 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 yeah, Rahayu. Rahayu. Yeah. Rahayu. Okay. All right, guys. All right. Let me take a picture of that. Oh, no. <coughs> <coughs>